Alright, so what is going on everybody on YouTube? It's your boy, Rojo's 99 and today I got another video for you guys. And this time, as you guys can see, we are here in what I call my sneaker corner. Sneaker corner because it's, you know, by the corner of the room. We are going to be doing the long-awaited Vans collection sponsored by Starbucks. I wish. So as you guys can see, this is kind of my setup. This is like my shoe rack right here. So the second and the third uh, tier of the rack is all Vans, except for these. These are slides, but I mean, I threw those in those because they fit in the little corner right there. Let me get rid of these. Got, got to keep the baby wipes on deck, you know. Got to keep your shoes looking fresh. Let's hop right into it because I do have them count. Oh, and these. Including those, I think I'm at like Paris of Vans, which is a lot, but I love Vans. It's my everyday shoe. Keep that Astro World merch. Came in after two months. So we're going to start off with these. Which if you guys recognize that tag, it's pretty obvious why, because it's the one I wore today, which is my my uh, slip-on vault LX in the checkered colorway or the checkerboard pattern. Um, I got these for retail of Norte, Nortre or some shit like that. It's a like a boutique shop from Chicago. So I saw on the Instagram that they restocked, so I hopped on them. I got these probably over a year ago. Checkered slip-on LXs, pair number one. I'm not gonna go too in depth just because if you guys couldn't tell by the amount of shoes that is behind me, I do have a lot, so there's no need to go in detail. Plus, I do have a lot of like overviews on my recent pickups or like unboxings when I get them in. I'm gonna try to throw it on a quick on foot um, as an overlay or something. On to the next one, we'll start off here. If you guys can't recognize this box, you're probably not old enough because this box is one of the OG, like old Vans boxes. And I'm not even gonna take both of them out. These are just my beat up. They used to be white Vans, triple white Vans, the damn Daniels. But I started washing cars, riding my bike in these, just beat them up, you know? So those are just there in the box because I have it. Next up, we got a pair that I wear somewhat often. Let's see if it focuses. But these are the Dusky Citron Vans Authentics. Oh, dude, this shit's bright as fuck. Dusky Citron Vans Authentics. Got these for, I think these were 20 bucks or 15, 20 bucks, something like that at the outlet. I know there's a change and I, I know you can see I'm like sweating. I do have the fan off just so there's no wind noise on the mic. So bear with my forehead. But yeah, that's pair number three. On to the next is this replacement Vans box. These were gifted to me by a homie, by Emmer. Uh, These are the Kevin Lyons Vans times truth vans authentics now these didn't have laces when he gifted them to me so i threw in these green vans laces and honestly it adds like a pop of color but i just haven't worn them because these are, i think these are a size 10 and they're a bit tight on me but i might get to wearing them i might even color them in for the fuck of it pair number four another pair of beaters i remember i had i made a review on these and i quickly beat them up this summer i started wearing them to work painted my room in them so they got paint splatters all over the place as you guys can see, these are pretty beat. But yeah, just a regular pair of checker slip-ons. Uh, these were what I used to wear when I didn't want to wear my vaults. But since I beat them up, my vaults is the only pair I have of checker slip-ons. So I'm probably going to double up on those ASAP. Next up, another authentic box. These are my amber gold pair of Vans Authentics. I got these from Zoomies for, I think it was 15 bucks. Because they were on sale, plus an extra 50% off. So I got them for 15 bucks. So yeah, really, really nice, like, gold color. And it looks really double with like black denim, khaki denim, whatever you want to put with them. Moving on, got another pair of Vans Authentics. This time it's in the autumn glaze color. Now these are still dead stock. I haven't worn them, but I plan on wearing them soon. I don't know with what, but probably an all black fit. Autumn glaze Vans Authentics. I got these at the outlet. At, no, actually these were at the Vans store in Oklahoma for I believe it was like 30 bucks. So it was not a bad price at all. Next up, got a pair of classics. It was a, this one was a more recent pickup. So these were another pair of Authentics. These are the Golden Coast Vans Authentics in a size 11. I did pay full retail for these, which was like, I think it was like 50 bucks or 55 bucks. But yeah, honestly, such a classic shoe. Can't go wrong with them. Next up is actually another pair of Authentics. Just count as how many pairs. And these I got, I believe were from PacSun. I did pay full retail for these, which I kind of regret it because they went on sale after, but I mean, it's whatever. It's just pair of vans i think i got these for 55 bucks and these are the checkered tape authentics and the black colorway check it on the tongue if you guys can see it right there really really nice and simple shoe well i mean simple in terms of colors but you know the shoe in general is really simple next up this
this is my first pair of Vans I ever bought. These were, if you guys know and follow, have been following me for a long time, probably need to relace these because the laces look whack as fuck. These were all black or black and white Vans Authentics, but I did do the Jacob Keller Magna DIY and I made these into the Magma Vans. Got the bleached upper and these are still clean as fuck. So I wear them occasionally. Take into consideration they are like five years old. A little break. Getting into all these, these are all skate highs. So hopping onto the first pair. These I did get from an outlet. I actually really, really like these because they're so simple. These are my asphalt gray van skate highs. I got these for, I think it was 40 bucks. And honestly, you just can't go wrong with the asphalt gray color. It's a really, really toned down gray. It's not the, the regular, what is it called? Like wolf gray or something. That's like the lighter gray. This is asphalt, so it's a bit darker and it looks dope with black denim and blue denim as well. Next pair. This is a pair I actually customized. I don't know if you guys were around, but at the time I customized these. If you aren't, that means you're new to the videos. So hit that subscribe button down below. But these were all white van skate highs and I did customize these cut some fabric and made these into some Burberry customs. I haven't worn them ever since I customized them. I think I only wore them once, but as you guys can see, the swoosh is back or the stripe is back on there. I got the custom Burberry button on the tongue and same thing on the other side. Didn't want to go too loud and do the tongue. So I just did the side panels. Just had just a little bit of flair in the collection, you know? Something unique that not everyone has. Next up is another pair of skate highs. These I got from Urban Outfitters and they're supposed to be an Urban Outfitter exclusive. So these are the Van Skate highs in the suede with the rabbit, turtle dove, whatever it's called. So these do have two straps on the top and they have like a really, really nice suede on the mid panel. And overall the suede is really good. It's just fully suede except for the, the stripe. But the thing that makes these different is that this white lace was actually a black elastic band so i cut the band out and i really actually like threw some real laces on there just to add it a, a touch of color and to give it a pop of white personally to me looks better than the all black look got this for 20 bucks on to the next one i still have the price tag on these you guys can see these joints were 25 bucks from paxton as well i got these on my birthday of i believe it was last year when i turned 18 on senior dish day i went to San Francisco with my family. So I didn't really ditch because I owned my family, but it was my birthday. So my family was going to be there anyways. But after I went to San Francisco, I actually do have a vlog on that. If you guys didn't know, people like a, probably like a year back, but I, we went to the outlets, walk into Paxson and I find these. So these are Vanscate highs with the zipper on the back, as you guys can see. And these do have the Italian woven mid, mid panel on the side with the black swoosh and a really, really nice like new book. And I did pay 25 bucks for these. I don't wear them as often. I like to keep them more for the winter just because they are black and they feel more like a boot. This is another pair that I haven't worn in a long time actually. Uh, Van Skate Highs. Probably didn't focus on the tag, but who cares? Because I'm going to show you guys. These are the Chili Pepper Van Skate Highs. Got the black, but the black swoosh. Why am I keep saying swoosh? Got the black stripe with the white laces, which I did swap myself. These came with black laces. The reason I swapped them is because one of the laces came shorter than the other one, so I couldn't get the right lacing white laces i have worn these but not as much anymore because you know your boy moved on but i do break them out every once in a while since it is a really really loud shoe believe i got these for 40 bucks if i'm not mistaken 40 or 50 bucks and then last skate high from the first tier is a pair i traded with my friend andrew i gave him a bunch of clothes for these now these are wild and i might break these out for in october for breast cancer but these are the skate high moccasins so you do have an all pink suede upper with the tassels like if they were moccasins and then you got a cream midsole cream laces your regular gum bottom now these are super dope they are loud and they are a size 10 so i do you know struggle to wear these sometimes but i will break them out soon and i'll probably post a fit on the ground with these so follow me if you haven't already probably be down in that corner or this corner who knows but yeah i got these in the trade honestly really really dope shoe to pull out every once in a while people look at you like what the fuck are you wearing but you know as long as you're confident in yourself you can wear whatever you want, you know? Don't let other people say what you're gonna wear and what you're not. Time to move the coffee up here. Did already the vans. Hop into the clear containers. So most of these didn't come with the box which is why they're in clear containers. One of my two pairs of old schools, which is kind of weird because I really like old schools, but these are black on black checkered old schools with the white midsole, gum bottom, really simple. I did wear these, I think it was this past week. Black on black checkered, you can tell right there. Really dope, black laces. Honestly, can't go wrong. Primarily black 
shoe. Moving on, you got the all white Vans Prison LX or something, or Vans Prisoner or something. It's called something like that. I don't know the name. I'll put it up on the screen if I can, if I can find it. These were all white. Got these at the outlets for, I believe it was 20 bucks. So yeah, I wear these every once in a while just because the strap are kind of hard to wear. The jeans don't fall right on these, in my opinion, so I struggle a lot. But other than that, these are fire. Another pair of Authentics surprise is these. I haven't worn these in a long time. I'm surprised. I need to break these out again. But these are Vans Authentics in the nylon upper, navy blue nylon with like the linen blue tongue, white laces, white midsole, gum bottom, red guts. There is a red gut in there. Really simple. I think I got these at Nordstrom Rack. Those all black old schools were at Nordstrom Rack as well. Got these, I think, for like 25 bucks a piece. This was another gift from my homie MR. Probably is watching this video. I don't know if he still watches me. Floral Vans. I threw the white laces in because they came with like these thin ass like khaki colored laces really really dope floral upper kind of loud but i'll try to break these out soon so we're done with the clear containers talking about the prison we got the vans style 23 vault lx these are the moonbeam color here we are with another pair of the strap vans all tan and like beige upper got the strap on the back if you guys didn't see this video when i got these i got this was when i got like five or six pair of vans in one box so i got these for like 36 bucks Take into consideration these are vaults. Next up, another pair of slip-ons. And these are the, I believe this is Tarmac. Pretty much like an olive slip-on. Got olive suede, olive canvas, white midsole, red Vans logo, suede heel cap or heel tab. Regular pair of vaults. Really, really nice suede quality on these. Haven't worn them in a while because I don't have as much zipper pants. And to me, honestly, slip-ons look iffy with like tapered jeans because the sock is showing. So I really like to wear zipper pants with them but I'll try to break them out soon. One more of the strap bands. These are the Stargazer color. So this is a blue on blue bands style 23. I haven't worn these actually, surprise, surprise. I do plan on wearing them soon. I just don't know what to wear them with. Vans Style 23, also got this for like 36 bucks. If you thought we were out of Vans Authentics, you were wrong. Boy, we got the heaters right here. Got the Vans Chili Peppers, Authentics. Got these off Essence, you already know if you watch my recent pickups, the 26 minute one. Chili Pepper Vans Vaults, can't go wrong with those. Big retail. Next up, another pair of vaults, these are my classic olive green and the ripstop and like a herringbone pattern on the toe. Olive on olive, cream laces, cream bottom, can't go wrong. Super simple. Wear these too often. I should probably start replacing the slip-ons with these, but these just look good with anything. Olive Vans Authentics, regular Vans box. If you guys didn't know, I got these in Oklahoma. If you guys didn't watch my what I got for Christmas video, this was what I had before I had my Golden Coast, which is the Authentic Pro checkered Board, but these are off-white and navy color so they're not as dope as a black on white but you know i got them at the time and they were cool but now that i got the golden coast these don't get as much love but i'll break them out every once in a while next up regular vans box and these are the all-time classic one of the all-time classics black and white vans old schools you guys can see i don't even have these like super crazy lace because i like to keep it simple black and white paid retail for these and yeah just classic Classics. These are like the shoe that if I'm running out for class and I don't feel like dressing up too much, I wear these. On Fridays when I only have one class, I'm probably wearing these. Next up, I haven't worn these in a long time for one specific reason only, and that is I wore black denim with it, black Paxson denim with it, and look at my tummy. Completely fucked my shoe up. These are the Our Legacy Vans Skate Mids Vault as well with the really, really nice long haired suede. But the first time I wore them, I wore black zipper pants from Paxson with them. And after a full day of walking around and wearing them, completely screwed over my tongue on both shoes. So I just try to keep them in the box as much as possible. I probably should break them out and just start beating on them. Next up, we'll get into like a more newer pair, Vans Vault Box. And these are, if you haven't checked out my recent pickups, these are Vans Style. 238 LX, which is pretty much like a skate high, but without the stripe. Got a blue Vans patch on the upper part of the shoe and on the tongue. Got these little patches right here and like a toe cap. Call these the Cali Tims. Got these for, I think it was like 50 bucks. Getting into these, but before, quick stop for Starbucks. 
These are my all gray suede Vans Authentics in the monument color, which is pretty much like a gray, wolf gray. Got like the blue tab on the back and all suede upper, which is crazy. That means I can't wear these in the rain. All white bottom, looks super dope on the feet. Getting on to this last row right here. Starting off from the top, got another clear box. And these are my Vanscape Mids moccasins in the tan color with the Scotch Guard upper, which means like they're like waterproof or weather resistant or something like that. Tan laces, tan little thing on the back. So yeah, if you lift this up, you got the rest of the shoe, but I try to keep it down, you know, just to tone it down a bit. Got these from a trade as well. Next up, getting to my last three, which are not the top three, but just my last three. Van Doren box. If you guys have not been rocking with me since day one you do not know what these are these are super old and these are probably one of my pride and joy these are super beat up and yellow now that i look at them i haven't even taken these out the box in a while but these are super yellow these are black stussy Vanscape high, these are vaults. Yellow bottom, checkered laces, eight balls all up on the mid panel. These are honestly my beaters. I love these shoes. Once the rain starts again, I'll probably start breaking these out again. You know, rain boots. But these are stupid yellow now that I see them again. I like it though, character. Speaking on a shoe that doesn't have much character because I don't wear them as often, is these boys. All white leather van skate highs. These are vaults, if you guys can tell by the blue box. Just all white leather all around. White laces, coke white bottom. I think I got these for like 50 bucks as well, around that. Really, really nice leather quality. Um, probably better than most Nikes and Jordans out there. Really dope. Need to get more wear out of these. And for my last pair, if you guys don't recognize this olive green box, you probably haven't watched my biggest unboxing yet. These are some of my beaters that I clean up and I keep looking good anyways. These are my undefeated Vanscape highs in the black colorway with the total crimson bottom, black laces. You already know the deal. These are super clean. These are the replacement for my Stussies, but honestly, you know, it's just a different type of shoe. That's like a really limited beat up shoe. And this is like my kind of want to start beating them up, but I don't really. I take these to shoots and they come back brown, but you know, clean them up, lace them back up again, looking brand new and fresh. Got these for like 55 bucks on undefeated.com. <sighs> Dude, that was a mouthful. If you guys couldn't tell by the amount of vans I have right here, this is my whole entire collection. This, These two are now empty. I'm not sure if I'll do an on feet. I kind of want to do an on feet, but then I don't want to do an on feet. So yeah, imagine just trying all of these on, having to throw them on after, and then edit this whole thing and like mix and match like 30 pairs of bands into like their respective areas of the video. Ooh, that's a pain in the ass. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it just cause, you know, just to try something new give you guys a full-on in-depth man's room collection someone in the comment section down below comment how many pairs this was because i lost track hey i know it's in the 30s but not sure how many if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribe down below if you are new to the channel join the family follow me on instagram which will probably be down in this corner at rogers 99 and my photography account which is rodman visuals i'll have it right here on the middle of the screen with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed my long-awaited advanced collection i was getting a lot of comments and comments in my instagram saying when i was going to do this video let me stop rambling because i'm wasting time to do my speech if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up comment how many pairs i had down below and also comment how many, pair, how many pairs you have down below and yeah subscribe follow me on instagram rodman visuals which is my photography one and rogers 99 which is in this corner that being said rogers 99 signing out peace